Now we are going to learn dal rasam. The rasam is very much favorite for everybody in almost all Tamil Nadu people. And dal rasam is uh, uh, something very, very traditional. This is something like a soup which is easily digestible and uh, you can uh, drink it as it is also or you can mix it along with uh, cooked uh, rice. And now I am going to teach you dal rasam. I will show you the ingredients. Tuvar dal, one and a half tablespoon. Coriander leaves. Use three garlic flakes. Dal rasam powder. Asafoetida powder. Salt. And this is little jaggery for taste. This is tamarind extract. This is tuvar dal, one and a half tablespoon. And you pressure cook it along with one tomato to this consistency that it, sh it should break and it should be soft for three to four whistles. This is for uh, seasoning. Uh, mustard seeds, cumin seeds and uh, the dal that is uh, de-husked black gram dal. While pressure cooking you have to add uh, one tomato and after uh, cooking you remove the skin of the tomato and just mash it like this which gives a good taste to the rasam. Now I have mashed it like this and diluted with water. Add tamarind extract, salt. Little jaggery, again this is optional because many people don't like jaggery but those who are Karnataka based and others who like the taste, they can have little jaggery, it's always tasty. And for dal rasam alone, we add the rasam powder in this itself. For pepper rasam and garlic rasam, we add the rasam powder at the end but now for dal rasam, we can add it now itself, around 3 fourth to 1 teaspoon depending upon your rasam powder. Use just one or two garlic flakes and just crush it coarsely and add it to the rasam. Generally we all know garlic is very very important uh, for controlling cholesterol. It has blood thinning effect and you can always use it with the skin and you can crush it lightly and then add it to the rasam. I am adding curry leaves now itself. Allow this to boil. One or two minutes we have added everything but uh, while tampering uh, we can add asafoetida powder and then coriander leaves. We allow this to boil for a few minutes. The rasam is boiling this side. It should be of a thin consistency like this and reduce the flame. When it is almost done. It, uh, a good uh, flavor is uh, coming. Now we will be tampering this. Always preheat it. Uh, generally for rasam, many people use ghee. From uh, the grandparents period I have seen they use ghee only for tampering. But nowadays uh, many people has become so fussy in uh, adding ghee and started using oil nowadays. You allow that to become hot and then add all the seasoning ingredients. Switch off the stove, add asafoetida powder. Asafoetida dissolves in oil as well as in water also and the curry leaves also it gives good flavor and it is added in the hot oil. Pour it to the rasam. Switch off the stove, add finely cut coriander leaves. Now the <coughs> rasam is ready to serve. Dal rasam is ready.